All right. Hi, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and get started with today's class. Um, so today's class is Yoga Nidra. My name is Ashlyn. I'll be your instructor. Um, we're going to be doing a yoga and meditation. So the last 15 minutes, as I said, will be Yoga Nidra. Um, if you're unfamiliar, Yoga Nidra transfers to yogic sleep. So it's a Essentially a guided meditation, which is why I suggested pillows and blankets, because you will just be lying on your mat, um, meditating with your eyes closed or open, whatever's comfy for you. But it is a very sedentary practice towards the end. So you're completely free to grab whatever props that will make that more comfortable for you. Uh, before we start, a quick announcement. As you know, we're running our summer group fitness schedule. It goes until June 29th, and we have about 12 free classes a week, so feel free to check out that schedule. In addition to that, we have happy hour today at 5.15, so feel free to check into that class as well if you like some Zumba in your life today. Um, one other thing, I will be sharing my playlist with you in the chat. Um, feel free to use music, not use music. It's really up to you. This practice is completely yours. Um, with that being said, if you are going to use music, I'll let you know when to start it because we'll start the beginning of class without it either way. So I'm going to go ahead and send that in the chat right now. All right. Okay. With that, we're just gonna get started. So go ahead and find your way to your mat or whatever space you have set up for yourself today. Go ahead and make your way down to your Shavasana position, lying gently on your mat, feet are wide, hands come to your sides, palms face towards the ceiling. From here, start to wiggle your feet out, take some of the tension out of your legs, and eventually let the balls of your feet fall heavy to the sides of your mat. Begin to walk your shoulders away from your ears. Make any adjustments in your upper or lower back. And once you're nice and comfortable, start to close your eyes. Take a moment to connect with your breath. And begin to feel the sensation of your body as it rests on the floor. Notice your shoulder blades and the back of your head as they connect to your mat or the carpet. Notice your tailbone, your low back, your legs, your feet, feeling all the connections that you've made with the ground right now. Allow yourself, your energy, to fall towards the floor, releasing tension from the body, but feeling grounded and secure. Today's practice should help you feel more open, more lengthened. It will be slower paced. With that being said, feel free to take any advancements as you feel comfortable or hold any posture if you feel like staying there a little bit longer. From here, start to come back to your breath. Notice how your chest rises and falls, maybe your belly as well. With your next inhale, take a big breath in through your nose and exhale completely through the mouth. Once again, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. One last time, in through the nose, 
and out through the mouth. This time, channeling all of your breath completely through your nose, taking that in inhale in and exhaling through the nose. Starting to feel the breath as it channels down the back of your throat. With your next inhale, see if you can stretch your breath to the count of four. Taking it in through your nose for one, two, three, four, holding at the top, and exhale out the nose for four, three, two, one. Again, inhale for four, two, three, four, exhale for four, three, two, one. Continue that breathing four and four. Feel comfortable, maybe lengthening to a five or a six. Wherever you're at, find your way back to that four and four even breath. Go through one more round of that evenly spaced breathing. Start to let that go and let your body find whatever breath feels normal for you right now. Notice how your breath may be deeper. Maybe it fills up the chest or the belly more than it did when we started. Notice your connections to the floor. Maybe you feel more grounded, more secure. As we move into the physical portion of our practice today, I invite you to listen to your body. Know that you set the pace for your practice. Know that each posture looks uniquely different to your body. And that is completely okay. Allow yourself the space to have your practice in whatever form it looks like for you today. Holding here for just a couple more breaths. I wanna invite you to set an intention for your practice today. Something to focus your energy on while you move, while you breathe. Something to come back to in your thoughts. Your intention should be positive in the present tense. Something like, I am blank. If you need a little inspiration today, your intention could be, I am restful, I am peaceful, I am calm. Once you've settled on an intention, Repeat it to yourself in your head or out loud a couple times. And at any point during our practice today, if your mind starts to wander, feel free to come back to this intention, reminding yourself of what your goal is for your practice today. As you feel comfortable, start to invite some small movements into your body, wiggling the fingers or the toes. 
every breath, start to make them a little bit bigger. The wrists, the ankles. As you feel comfortable, reach your hands up overhead, pointing through your fingers. Feel a stretch in your abdomen and your chest. Maybe start to point your toes, drawing your feet together, finding some length in the lower body. Holding here for one more inhale, stretching a little bit further. And with your exhale, begin to bend into your knees, drawing your knees in towards your chest, making connection with the shins. From here, glue your tailbone down to your mat and maybe take it left to right, back and forth. Maybe you find little circles or whatever shape feels good for your low spine today. As you're ready, start to gently open through your eyes and come to stillness of the low body. From here, start to find your knees towards your armpits, finding some space in the hips. From here, you can either take your feet together or if happy baby feels comfortable for you today, you can reach your hands to the big toes or the outsides of the feet, stacking your ankles over your knees. Finding some space in those hips. Breathing into that stretch. Wherever you're at, begin to take the soles of your feet together, knees come out wide, reaching your hands around for the outer edges of the feet or maybe for the shins. With your next inhale, begin to tuck your chin to your chest, lifting your head, neck, and shoulders. And as you exhale, releasing your head back down to the mat. We'll do this two more times. Inhale to lift. Exhale to come back down. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. From here, keeping the soles of your feet together, start to gently release them down to your mat, letting your knees fall out wide. From here, either taking your hands to your thighs or maybe your hips, whatever feels good for your body. Maybe inviting in a little bit more space in those hips, or if it feels good for you today, maybe taking those knees together. Again, whatever this looks like for you, you are in charge of your practice. Let yourself that power today. As you feel comfortable, start to work those knees together, placing the soles of the feet into the mat, starting to take your feet about hips distance apart. Begin to walk your hands towards your heels, drawing your shoulders down your back. Staying here if this is nice for you today, or if you're looking for a little bit more, you can tuck your chin to your chest and start to lift up through those hips to your bridge pose. Holding here for just a couple more breaths. See if you can release the tension in your legs and your glutes. If you have hips elevated, start to gently lower them back down and bringing your knees back into your chest. From here, starting to cross at the ankles, keeping your grip either around the shins or moving to the back of the thighs. Start to tuck your chin to your chest. We're going to take it up for three rolls. Inhale to come up to a seat. Exhale to lower back down. Inhale up. Exhale back down. One more time, rolling up. This time holding here. Take your knees out wide. Let your ankles cross. Find an easy seated position. If you are using music for today's practice, feel free to turn that on now.
Coming back to our easy seat. Knees come out wide, ankles crossed. Maybe finding your hands to your knees or to your ankles, whatever feels good for you today. With your inhale, start to press your chest forward, finding your gaze towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, tucking chin to chest, rounding through the spine. Inhale to draw the chest forward, gaze comes up. Exhale, rounding through the spine. One more time here. Inhale to draw the chest forward. Exhale to come back. Coming back to your flat back here. Start to take that right hand to the left side of the head, gently guiding your ear towards your shoulder. With your next inhale, releasing that right hand, coming back to neutral on the head, switching it out, left hand comes across, guiding over towards that left side. Once again, coming back to center. This time, find your gaze towards the ceiling, opening up through the throat. From here, coming all the way back to your center and tucking the chin to the chest. From here, start to walk your hands out in front of you, finding a comfortable place for your hands to rest. Start to release your head, tucking your chin to your chest, finding that forward fold. From here, start to walk your hands out towards that left side, drawing a straight line out your left hip and shooting through your fingertips. With your next inhale, passing back through center, and exhale to take it over to that right side. Again, reaching out diagonally from that right leg. With your next breath, coming back to center. As you exhale, finding that fold once more. From here, begin to find your gaze towards your hands. Start to come up onto your knees, uncrossing at your ankles, finding a tabletop position. Begin to make your way so that your shoulders are stacking over your wrists. Take a look back at your knees. See that they're about hips distance apart. With your next inhale, tucking to the chest, rounding through the spine for cat. As you exhale, dropping the belly, finding your gaze forward for cow. Once again, inhale for cat. Exhale for cow. Moving through three rounds here with your own breath. Again, adding any organic movement that feels good for you. Maybe left to right in the shoulders or the hips. Maybe you find some circles in the spine. Allow yourself to take charge of your practice today, feeding your body whatever it needs. With your last breath here, start to come back to your flat back. From here, extending that right foot back, toes come into the mat. Start to shift your weight towards that back side of your mat here, feeling that stretch in that right calf.
from here, shifting your weight forward, coming off those right toes, start to replace back to your tabletop. Switching it out, left side comes back, grounding those toes into your mat, and shifting your weight back, pressing through that left heel, feeling that stretch in the left calf. Once again, realigning those shoulders, start to bring that left side back into your table. With your next inhale, start to extend that right hand towards the ceiling, stretching through the chest. And as you exhale, take that right hand across the body, releasing down to that right shoulder, letting your cheek connect with your mat. Feel free to walk that left hand out, or maybe connect with the tailbone. Whatever feels good for you today. Wherever you are, start to make your left hand back underneath your shoulder, lifting up through your chest, right hand comes high one more time, and releasing back down to your table. Switching it out here, inhale to raise that left side, exhale to thread it through. Once again, making that right hand back underneath the shoulder, starting to lift up through the chest, the left hand comes high, and releasing back to your table. Moving through one more round of cat-cow here, inhale to round through the spine, exhale to drop the belly. Coming back to your flat table, begin to tuck your toes, engage your core, drawing your belly button to your spine. From here, start to lift your knees about two inches to a hover. And with your next exhale, extending through the legs, pressing all of your weight to the back of your mat, finding your down dog. Take a moment here to either bend both knees or bend one or the other. Find your gaze towards your feet. Make sure they're about hips distance apart. Wherever you're at, start to take a bend into both of your knees. From here, start to glue your belly and your chest to your thighs. Either staying here or trying to extend through those legs, keeping the chest where it's at. Noticing if this deepens your down dog, gives you some more space in your back and your chest. With your next inhale, start to find your gaze towards your hands, bending into those knees. And as you exhale, walking the feet forward, releasing your hands to fall heavy towards the floor, finding your forward fold. From here, reaching for opposite elbows, letting your head rest on your forearms. Again, maybe bending into both knees, or one and the other. Begin to release your hands back down towards the floor. And as you inhale, rising slowly one vertebrae at a time. Once you reach the top, exhale, rolling the shoulders down the back. Starting to take your feet about hips distance. Hands come to the sides, finding a nice tall chest here, maybe closing the eyes, coming to your proud mountain pose. Take a moment to recall the intention that you set for your practice today. Taking a nice deep inhale in through the nose and exhale through the nose. With your next inhale, reaching the hands overhead. And as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming up halfway, finding our flat back. Maybe hands come to the shins. Exhale to fold, placing those hands. Start to bend into the knees to step it back to your high plank. 
Moving through our first flow, always that option to drop the knees here. Elbows coming towards the ribs, lowering down to your chaturanga. I'm tucking those toes, chest comes high for cobra. From here, take a moment to roll your shoulders away from your ears. Maybe taking those hips right to left. And finding stillness. Begin to take your toes together, taking your knees as wide as your mat. Start to sit those hips back towards the heels, finding your child's pose. Find a way for your head to rest comfortably, either on the floor or coming close to it. Moving to stretch through those shoulder blades. Begin to place your elbows down into your mat. Round them down so much that you can lift up through your palms. From here, take your hands together and bring your fingers to point down your back, resting your hands behind your neck. Another option here, maybe just reaching for the back of the shoulder blades. Finding some space in the back and the chest. Wherever you're at, begin to replace your palms back down to your mat. And finding your gaze towards your hands, begin to rise back up to a modified table. Tucking the toes, lifting knees, coming to down dog. With your next inhale, rising that right leg high, three-legged dog. And as you exhale, bending into the knee, let your right foot come towards that left hip, finding some space in that right side. Feel free here to circle out through your ankle, or maybe take some big circles with that right knee. Wherever you're at, begin to find stillness, drawing that right thigh towards your belly, starting to roll it forward to a high plank, taking that right foot to replace the right hand. From here, dropping that left knee, I'm tapping the toes, finding our low lunge. Finding a moment here, make sure you're not sitting straight onto that left knee. We want to press those hips forward to release the tension on that joint. Wherever you're at, begin to walk your hands up onto your thigh, rolling the shoulders down the back, coming to a nice, proud, tall stance. From here, inhaling through the nose and exhale through the mouth. With your next exhale, begin to place your hands back down. Right hand comes to the outside of that right foot. Start to shift your weight towards the back of your mat, extending through that right leg. From here, flexing that right foot and maybe finding a fold in the chest. With your next inhale, coming up about halfway to a flat back. And exhale to fold. From here, start to walk your hands back towards the top of your mat. Shifting your weight forward, pressing that right foot back down. Holding here for your inhale. And as you exhale, start to rock those hips back. Lifting that right foot to your hamstring stretch. Again, inhale to walk those hands forward, replacing that right foot. Exhale to shift those hips back, finding your runner stretch. We'll move through this about two more times. Inhale to press the hips forward. Exhale to rock it back. Once more, inhale coming forward. Exhale to rock it back. One last time, start to walk those hands forward, replacing that right foot. 
From here, begin to tuck your left toes, lifting that back knee. With your next inhale, raising through the chest, coming to your high lunge. Begin to draw your hands to your heart. Holding here for two breaths. With your next inhale, hands come back overhead. As you exhale, replacing those hands down to the mat, right foot to the inside of the hand. Begin to walk that right foot back, coming to your head plank. And again, moving through your flow. Chaturanga through to cobra. And back to down dog. With your next inhale, once again, right leg comes high. As you exhale, thigh comes to belly, bending into the knee. Inhale forward to high plank. From here, taking that right foot in between your hands, right under your nose. Begin to take that left heel into the center of your mat. Starting to lift up through the chest, finding your warrior two. With your next inhale, flipping that right palm, reaching back reverse. As you exhale, coming back to warrior two. Inhale, chest hinges forward, finding that extended side angle. Right hand comes to rest, or maybe reaching for the inside of the foot. With your next inhale, rising back up, warrior two. As you exhale, take the bend out of that right leg. Start to walk that left foot up about two steps. From here, hands come to the sides, keeping those legs straight. Begin to extend your chest forward once again. Releasing that right hand down, left hand comes to stack. Leading with that left oblique here, starting to raise back up. Hands come out to the sides, letting your right toes come to meet the left and folding forward. Wherever you're at, releasing your hands heavy towards the floor, slowly starting to roll up one vertebrae at a time, rolling the shoulders down the back. Again, extending the hands out to the sides, this time turning your left toes to the top of your mat. Begin to keep those legs straight, hinging your chest towards that left side. Left hand comes to rest, right hand comes to stack. Leading with that right oblique, starting to inhale to rise through the chest. As you exhale, walking that right foot back about two steps. Begin to bend into that left knee, warrior two. As you inhale, flipping that left palm, reach it back, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, chest hinges forward, finding extended side. Right hand comes to reach past that foot. Once again, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, taking the bend out of that leg, turning the toes to the side and folding forward. Once again, slowly rolling up here through the chest. And exhaling at the top. Once again, turning those left toes to the top of the mat. Hands come out to the sides, bending into that left knee warrior two. From here, flipping that right palm in the back, bringing your chest to the top of your mat, coming up onto those right toes, high lunge. Holding here or drawing hands to heart, finding two breaths. With your next inhale, raising the hands back up overhead. And as you exhale, gently lowering that right knee down, untucking the toes, hands come to that left thigh, finding your low lunge. 
Once again here, make sure you're not sitting straight onto that right knee. Try to press those hips forward. Staying here for two breaths, breathing into that stretch in the right hip. With your next inhale, raising hands up overhead. And as you exhale, replacing your hands down to your mat, left hand comes to the outside of that left foot. Start to shift your hips back towards that right side and lifting up through that left foot, flexing the toes. Begin to fold forward, tucking your chin to your chest. With your next inhale, walking your hands back to bring that left foot. Start to shift your hips forward, replacing that left foot back down. And as you exhale, walking your hips back onto that right side, on your stretch. Once again, inhale to rock it forward, shifting those hips. Exhale to press those hips back, finding your runner stretch. Moving through two more rounds with your own breath here. Inhale to find your low lunge. Exhale to press back to that runner stretch. Once more, inhale. And exhale, pressing back. With your next inhale, walking the hands forward, replacing that left foot. This time, start to work your left hand to the inside of that left foot. Let your right hand plant underneath your right shoulder. Begin to tuck your right toes, lifting your back knee, and replace that left foot back to your high plank. Once again, moving through your flow, chaturanga through the cobra. This time, knees come wide, toes together, sinking those hips back to child's pose. Once again here, find a shoulder stretch. If you liked the one we did earlier, feel free to take that. Or for another option here, starting to tend the fingertips, making little cupcake holders with your hands. Start to draw your chest down towards the mat, letting your forehead connect. Wherever you're at, begin to lift up through your chest, replacing your hands back down. And start to walk your hands out, letting your chest come down to your mat, lowering onto your belly. From here, take your hands either out to your sides in a cactus, or if you have space, reaching all the way out. Let your right cheek come to your mat, and begin to take your hips right to left. Finding stillness here. Begin to bend into your knees, flexing your feet. And starting to take your feet over towards that right side. Coming back to center and then over to the left. Finding a way to windshield wiper right to left here. If you're looking for a deeper stretch, feel free to replace that right foot back down. Starting to lift that left thigh up, coming up and over to place your foot flat onto that open space on the right. Wherever you're at, start to come back to stillness. Releasing both feet down to your mat. Let your hands come underneath your shoulders, lifting your head up. Let your elbows come in towards your ribs. As you inhale, lifting your chest only about six inches above your mat. And as you exhale, let your left cheek come down, 
for placing your hands out as you have them before. Once again, bending into the knees, flexing the feet, starting to work your feet towards that left side, coming back to center and then over to the right. Continue with this windshield wiper motion here if that feels good for you today. Or if you're looking for a deeper stretch, you can replace that left leg back down, lifting that right thigh, coming up and over to that right side. Wherever you're at, start to come back to center, replacing both feet down to your mat. Once again, coming to bring those hands underneath the shoulders, lifting through the head, drawing the elbows in towards the ribs, raising up about six inches. From here, start to lift all the way up to your cobra and pressing back. Knees come wide, toes together, finding your child's pose. From here, start to walk your hands back, raising through the chest. Stick your knees in about two inches on both sides and find a comfortable seat here. For an extra stretch, option to tuck the toes, feeling that stretch in the shins and the toes, or option to keep the feet untucked. Wherever you're at here, take your palms together, cross your thumbs, and begin to find your right or left thumb to your forehead, right in between your eyebrows, connecting with your third eye. From here, close your eyes. Relax your shoulders and recall the intention that you set at the beginning of our practice. Allow yourself to repeat it in your head a couple times. Trying to focus your energy as if you're speaking towards that spot on your forehead. Staying here if this is comfortable for you. We're starting to shift back, lifting your gaze towards the ceiling, opening up through the throat. Wherever you're at, find space for one more breath. And begin to come back to center, releasing your hands to your knees. This time, tucking your chin to your chest, rounding through the spine. And again, pressing the chest forward to round through the low back. Moving through one more round here. Inhale to tuck the chin to the chest. Exhale to press the chest forward. Wherever you're at, coming back to that flat back, start to lift your hips up to a high seat and find a comfortable way to support your tailbone. Whether that means fingertips pointing down towards the glutes, or maybe thumbs come to the back, fingertips wrap around. Whatever you choose, let your elbows come together behind your back, squeezing those shoulder blades. From here, start to press those hips forward until you have no more room to press. And then start to find your gaze towards the ceiling. Maybe you lower the chest. Maybe you see where you're at. Holding for one more breath. With your next inhale, raising the chest back up, sinking those hips towards the heels. Take those knees out about two inches on both sides. Start to walk your hands forward to your child's pose.
From here, we will be moving to the meditation portion of today's class. So if you have a pillow or a blanket or anything else to make that more comfy for you, feel free to set that up for yourself now. We will be laying in the position that we started in on Shavasana. So you'd be lying flat on your back. If you have a pillow to rest your head on, feel free. Palms face up towards the ceiling. Feet fall heavy to the edges of your mat. Finding a nice, comfortable position of rest here. As you move into your final resting pose, take a moment to walk your shoulders away from your ears. Take any adjustments in your upper or lower back. Let your feet fall heavy to the edges of your mat. and allow yourself to find a nice, comfortable position. Let your eyes close. Let your tongue fall from the roof of your mouth. As we move into the Yoga Nidra portion of our class today, I invite you to allow yourself Rest, let your body fall into a state of deep relaxation. You will likely experience a feeling somewhere between being awake and being asleep. Allow yourself this courtesy today. Take whatever your body is feeling. Some of what I say you might not hear or it might not resonate with you, but feel free to take what speaks to you and leave the rest behind. And know that even if you fall asleep, that's completely okay. Throughout our meditation today, try to stay as still as possible unless your body begins to distract you. In that case, move as mindfully as you can while trying to keep your intention on your meditation. As we get started, recall the intention that you set at the beginning of our practice. Repeat it to yourself in your head. And now start to bring your attention to the world around you, wherever you are practicing today. Begin to notice the sounds that fill up your room. Maybe the air conditioner, maybe a light bulb. Maybe you hear the sound of cars racing by. Maybe an animal or some children. Whatever those sounds are, allow your body to acknowledge them, take note of them, so they don't distract you during our practice today. Allow yourself to accept that they are there and let it go to the back of your mind, focusing solely on your meditation.
from here, begin to visualize your body as it rests on your mat or the floor. Create a picture in your head of what you look like in your pose of rest. Allow yourself to be as still as possible, taking notice of the different parts of your body as they connect to the floor, as we did at the beginning of our practice. Noticing the back of your head, your shoulder blades, your upper or lower back, your hips and your feet, Noticing all of the connections that you have with the earth, with the ground, with your mat. Allow yourself to feel safe and secure. Building these sensations up in your body. Allow yourself to sense completely your left arm, trying not to build up tension or movement, only letting yourself sense the feeling of your arm resting on the floor. Starting to move that sensation across your body Noticing your chest and your belly. Noticing your upper back. Feeling the sensations of your torso. Again, not building up tension, not finding movement, only sensing these parts of your body. From here, shifting to your right arm. Noticing your right arm individually, and then as it connects to your torso and your left arm. From here, sensing your hips, your legs, your feet. Noticing your whole lower body as it connects to the floor and as it connects to your upper body. Finally, starting to notice your head and your neck, your face. And finally, feeling the sensation of your whole body as it's resting here on the floor. Take a moment to find your awareness to your breath. Notice if you're breathing quickly or slowly. Notice your chest as it rises and falls. And find your way back to that even four and four breath that we did at the beginning of our practice. Taking an inhale in through your nose for the count of four, two, three, four, and exhale through the nose for four. Three, two, one. Continue this breathing at your own pace. Again, maybe lengthening to a five or a six. Allowing every breath to be just a little bit longer than the last. Taking one more round of that even breath here, and then allowing your body to come back to whatever breath feels natural. From here, begin to acknowledge any thoughts or feelings that you currently have present in your mind. 
Take notice not to judge them or try to change them. Only taking notice of what is present for you today. If you notice anything specific, allow yourself to second to see how that feels. Maybe you have a sensation in your body that associates with that feeling. Notice if it's positive or negative. Now try, try to sense the emotion of being anxious. Allow yourself not to associate any specific memory or situation, only letting your body feel the sense of anxiety. Maybe your breath speeds up a little bit. Maybe you find some tension in your hands or your feet or your shoulders. Now take a moment and invite in the feeling of being calm and at rest. Again, not associating anything with the feeling, only letting your body sense it. Notice if your breath slows. Notice the tension as it releases from your shoulders, your hands, or your feet. and allow yourself the space to control the sensations of your body. Know that you have this power in your daily life, though it may not be so simple. Allow yourself the freedom to invite the sensation of being calm into your body whenever you feel you need it. Now allow yourself to visualize a series of images in your head, however they might look for you. Noticing the image of a stream as it flows through a mountain, a warm fire in the fireplace. Picture yourself sunbathing on a hot beach. or walking in a snowy forest. From here, bring to mind a memory that holds joy for you, the best memory you can think of. And allow yourself to revel in this memory, remembering every little detail, every sight, every smell, every feeling. And coming back to your intention, feeling that joy that you felt from that memory, allow yourself to connect the intention that you set, repeating it to yourself in your head, Take a moment to reflect on how this meditation made you feel today. Remember that you are worthy, you are enough. And from here, start to bring your awareness back to your breath and back to your body as it rests on the floor. Allow yourself small movements, wiggling the fingers or the toes, gradually making them bigger as you feel comfortable. Eventually finding your knees in towards your chest. Maybe you come to a supported fetal position.
wherever you're at. Start to find your way up to a seat on your mat. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in for class today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this brought a little bit of clarity into your day and you have the strength to go about your day in whatever way that looks like for you. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you guys again. Namaste.